Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I want to talk about Samsung Galaxy S4 and Samsung has done something and if you notice the benchmarks for the Samsung Galaxy S4 are top notch. It gets the best benchmark scores but it looks like everything is not rosy and Anand Tech, which is a very reputable site, did some digging around and they found some very interesting facts. The thing is that the GPU on this is supposed to run at 533 megahertz, but it runs only at around 480 megahertz for all the games. But when you run some special applications like benchmarks, the clock frequency increases to 533 megahertz. For example, AM22 Quadrant, GL Benchmark, Linpack, and Benchmark P, when these are run and the phone detects that these softwares are running, it uh, actually overclocks the GPU at 533 MHz thus and also the CPU and some of these applications get ramped up thus you get very high scores in benchmarks and in reality you won't see such high performance. Needless to say I would say this is a shady practice because benchmarks should predict the way the CPU uh, the, the phone runs in day to day conditions and now Samsung has is actually written code in the firmware which detects when these uh, benchmarks are being run and they artificially ramp up the processor and GPU thus giving you higher benchmark scores and this is a very shady practice we have seen this in earlier uh, about 10, uh, 10 years ago in the what do you say when we had uh, powerful uh, graphic cards and these manufacturers used to tweak them for uh, higher uh, scores and now we are seeing the same thing with these mobile phones and it's sad to see that and i'm really sad to see that samsung is doing something like this this brings me to another point that you should not trust too much on benchmarks but for uh, for example trust on the reviews and the end user experience i always talk about the end user experience if uh, that should be more important again it is interesting to see if other manufacturers are doing something shady practices like this I'll link the report of Anand Tech in the show notes so you can check out that for more info. Again, I have to say, uh, I'm, it's shame on you Samsung for doing something like this. You sell tons and tons of phones again and by doing silly and cheap tactics like this, you're breaking the trust. Again, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video.